five badass soldiers to face an entire army alone. 5. Mikhail Panikaka Mikhail was a soldier who volunteered to participate in the Battle of Stalingrad. The Germans were about to win. They were 12,000 Russians at first, and they got reduced to dozens. So, all of a sudden, a German squad attacked Mikhail's position, aiming to separate the remainder of the Soviets. The Russians were able to fight off the first wave. The second wave came with tanks that drove over the trenches to bury their enemies, including Panikaka. Our badass Russian grabbed a couple of vodka bottles and made up Molotov cocktails. He climbed out of the trench when a bullet shot one of the bottles, leaving him engulfed in flames, climbed on top of the tank, opened it, and threw the other one in the engine compartment. Both the tank and Mikhail exploded, and the Germans were now scared of the Russians, so they retreated. 4. Fazl Din According to Nyack in the 7th Battalion of the British Indian Army, Fazl Din was born on July 1, 1921. While deployed in Burma on March 2, 1945, near Miktila, Din's section got caught by machine gun fire during an attack on a Japanese position. After attacking the position with grenades, Fazl led his men against a bunker, from which six Japanese soldiers led by two officers with swords emerged. One of Din's men was able to kill one officer before being sliced by the other. Seeing this, Fazl charged the officer, who impaled him in the chest. Despite being wounded, Fazl grabbed the Japanese officer's sword as he pulled it out, killing the officer and another Japanese soldier with the same sword. Staggering back to his camp, Fazl made his report before collapsing and dying of his wounds. 3. Herbert Christian June 1944 Herbert Christian was on patrol in Italy with 12 other men, when they were suddenly ambushed by 60 Italian troops. As soon as he told his soldiers to retreat, a tank ran over most of his right leg, crushing it right above the knee. Rageful, Herbert propped himself on his thigh bone, filled his machine gun with a new round, and killed three Italians. Not happy, he dragged himself towards the enemy, while his squad retreated. Leaving a river of blood, he killed yet another Italian, when the rest concentrated all their fire on him. They shot him until he was dead. 2. Dominic Fats McCarthy August 23, 1918 McCarthy, an Australian fighter in World War I, armed with his gun, a limited number of Mills bombs, and whatever he could scavenge from the Germans, he led a one-man assault until the other soldier from his unit finally caught up with him, 700 yards from their original starting point. Throwing bombs and taking out the enemy with his revolver, he refused to be stopped. McCarthy captured five machine guns, killed 22 Germans, and captured 50 more. He secured half a kilometer of German trench by himself. The Germans were so impressed with his fighting that when they surrendered, they patted him on the back and told him what a good job he'd done beating the pulp out of them across 500 meters of heavily fortified trenches. He was awarded the Victoria Cross for his actions, now largely considered to be the finest piece of individual fighting in the entire war. 1. Saito Musashibo Benki in feudal Japan, if you were tall, ugly, and strong as an ox, there weren't a lot of decent jobs available. One of them, fortunately, was Buddhist monk, which Saito Mushishibo Benki took up with great skill. Another thing he took up with great skill was the Naginata, a spear as tall as he was with what amounted to a katana on the end. You see, monks were expected to have military skill, which is weird for men of peace. It's not just going to end well for whoever makes him angry. Benki posted himself on a bridge where he disarmed every passing swordsman, eventually collecting 999 swords. On his 1000th duel, Benki was defeated by Minamoto no Yoshisun, which ended with Benki on a bridge holding off soldiers while his boss committed seppuku, a suicide ritual of disembowelment. Benki killed so many people and withstood so much damage that after he died standing up, it still took the soldiers hours to build up the confidence to get close enough to realize he was dead. This is known as the standing death of Benki. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Check out one of these videos and don't forget to subscribe to support more videos.